Hello there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Daniela and here we talk about beauty, uh, specifically project panning. So today I'll be updating my project called the Star Wars Panning Saga uh, Project Pan. And I created this for the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. So this project started uh, May 25th. Uh, sorry. January 25th and it goes till May 25th of this year and it's all centered on Star Wars um, for uh, this iteration it'll be mostly it'll be uh, fully the original trilogy uh, so the main characters in the or original trilogy um, there are prompts uh, related to each of the characters and all I'll have those all down below and they're also on the Facebook page uh, for the Fantastic Ladies. Now there's 13 characters, uh, but I did this project pretty uh, uh, relaxed. Uh, so you can work on however many you want or uh, rolling through them or working all of them at once. Uh, so I did all at once. Um, so I've got quite a few things to update on. Um, Nothing rolling out, but let's just get started. So first of all, we have Darth Vader. So this is something with black packaging. So I went with a ColourPop um, lipstick, and it's from one of their uh, Star Wars collections. So here it is. It used to have the Star Wars uh, it printed on it, but it <laughs> had already rubbed off. So this is Supreme Leader. I don't really need to show a comparison from last month because uh, there won't be uh, much difference. I used it four times, um, maybe like just once that was fully just alone on my lips, but normally paired with uh, red lip gloss I'm working on. So next is Obi-Wan Kenobi, something you can always rely on. So for this, I put in my uh, Smith's Rosebud Salve. I really like this for so my uh, nighttime lip balm. Um, I'm pretty close to hitting pan, but not yet. And I mean, I haven't really been focusing on the middle, but it'll come eventually. I just use it every single day. Next, we have Yoda, so the oldest product in your collection. So, this one is really old. Uh, it's the Vix Vapor Rub. So I just have around here, um, but I've been working on it, but there's still a ways to go. I just have to remember to use it more. Uh, it's, it's really dry here, so it, it helps with clearing the nose. Then we have Han Solo, so a solo product, so you only have its uh, category or uh, brand. So here, I put in the Tarte Maracuya Miracle Mist. It's the only spray I have currently. Um, I've used it eight times. I mostly use it when I've applied a lot of powders. Uh, so that's not really every day. Uh, but yeah, there's still a way to go. There's still a lot of, still a lot of weight to it. Um, Next we have Chewbacca, so a hair care item. I've been working on the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Conditioner. Um, I just use this every time I wash my hair and use conditioner. Um, so I've, I've gone down around 10 grams. Uh, there's 30 mil in here. So it's gonna be around 30 grams in here. Uh, so I've used around a third, so. I'm pretty sure I'll finish it by the end. Next we have 
Leia Organa, something that makes you feel badass. So I have here the Marc uh, Jacobs um, High Shine Gloss Lip Locker in Work It. I've used it four times and I'm wearing it today. Um, I'll just apply it again a bit thicker so you can see more of the color. So when it's built up, it looks a bit darker, but if I apply it more sheer, it just looks like a cool tone neutral. Um, so I'll try wearing it a bit more, maybe for work. Uh, it's a pretty good shade for that. And I'll have to go into the office more, so yeah. I'll probably be wearing it more. Next is Luke Skywalker. So something that's a new holy grail. For this, I put in the CoverGirl True Blend uh, powder, pressed powder. This is how it's looking like. I'll put in a picture of what it looked like in the intro, but I've only used it two times, so it won't look too different. Um, I don't wear it all the time. I'm not even wearing it today, but just when I want a bit more coverage. And the goal for that is 20 uses. Uh, same with the lip gloss, 20 uses, but still have a ways to go. Then we have R2D2, and this is a white and blue uh, item. So I have the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. Uh, it's a bit thicker, and I like to use it when my face still feels moist. So normally after a shower um, and on some nights, but I'm also using other night creams, uh, so I don't use it every day. So I've gone down a bit. Uh, I might just prioritize it a bit more, but I think I'll, I'll be able to finish it by the end. Then we have C3PO, uh, something in a foreign language. So I put the Nomad Cos Cosmetics Harajuku palette. I don't have any specific goals for this palette, but I wanna make sure to use all the shades, uh, play around with it more. So this is what it's looking like. Um, there's nothing really apparent there's no new pans or anything but uh so i haven't used this i've used this one once i haven't used this i've used this one three times um because it goes really well with uh, a teal shadow i'm working on so this works well to blend it out then i've used uh this dark gray three times. This one's also really nice for uh, deepening the outer corner, but not too deep. I uh, haven't used this. I've used this twice because it also goes with the teal shadow. I've used this once, so I'm wearing that today. Um, it's really nice for a neutral look, but it still has like a little bit of satin, so uh, and then haven't used this. Um, I've used this twice. Even though it looks this gray, like when you apply it, it would take a lot to build it up. So it doesn't, it looks really light on the eyes. Uh, so I've mostly used it for blending this out or other grays. Um, but yeah, and it's also super powdery. So there's there's a lot more disturbance in it, but yeah. Uh, haven't used this, haven't used this. I wanna do soon a look that's with this and the purple and maybe the teal or something, something fun. I've used this once, I've used this twice. Also goes well with that teal shade and I've used this twice. And 
Then we have uh, Darth Sidious, a holy grail that has been discontinued or will need to be replaced or it's not a holy grail anymore. So I have the Tatcha Pearl um, Eye Cream. This one's in the shade Soft Light. It's getting older um, and they've discontinued it. I've only used it five times. I mostly use it when I go into work, which will be more. So uh, I just have to remember to use it those mornings. I wish they hadn't discontinued it and they just sold it in smaller packaging. I also use like the tiniest amount, so I don't think I'll put a uh, comparison photo because it will be no difference. Then we have Admiral Akbar, something you thought would be good or heard would be good, but it's not. So I put in here the Jouer blush in Know Me. So it's pink with like a satin sheen to it. Um, but it takes a lot of digging to actually get color uh, and also fades easily. Um, so I've mostly been using it to blend out other pink shadows. Uh, so you can see, you can see the imprint. My goal is to wear away the imprint. Uh, but it's flattening out a bit there. But yeah, I've used it five times and I'll still need quite a bit more to erase that imprint. Then we have Boba Fett, a popular favorite. So for that, I went with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Um, maybe people don't use it as much anymore, but was definitely favorite before so I have some lines so I started at this top line let's see and I'm now down to here after five uses it's going pretty well and as you go down uh, there's less product um, so the line should be going faster down if I, if I use it five times each one. Um, so as long as I remember to use it, I think I'll finish it by the end. Uh, sometimes I use it to blend out the powders on my face or sometimes just to set a cream blush. And lastly, uh, we have for Jabba the Hutt, something that looks or smells gross. We have the Lanolips Tinted Lip Balm. I started up here and I don't use it all the time. because I've, I've been mostly focusing on a lip oil. Um, so, so yeah, it hasn't gone down much, but it gets, it gets pretty gross up here. Not right now, but when you start applying it. Um, so that's why I have it for that prompt. I'll probably, I mean, I'll definitely use it more once I finish that lip oil. Uh, but for now, I try to have that lip oil as like my workday uh, desk moisturizer. And then I keep this one on my personal desk for the evenings and the weekends. So yeah. Um, no rollouts this month. Uh, not sure if there will be next month, but definitely by the end of this project, I'll have some things finished. So yeah, thank you for watching. And if you'd like to follow along this journey for this project and all my other projects, uh, please subscribe. Uh, you can also check out my other videos and my Instagram, which will be linked down below. And yeah, thanks for watching. May the force be with you.